Hey, Rody with Groovy Cycle Works here. Wanted to make a quick video to show you how we slot seat tubes. There's been a lot of discussion of late on the forums as to the best approach to slotting the seat tube. Anything from drilling a hole and using a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel, hacksaws, files, and miscellaneous other options. Today, I'm going to show you how we do it on the vertical mill. So we can end up with a nice clean seat tube slot just like you see here in this titanium seat tube. We start off with our seat tube insert. This is a thicker piece of steel that will then be pressed into my seat tube and then welded in place. What I've done was I've already attached my binder bolt to give me a reference point. I use this for lining up the seat tube for all processes that follow. From that, I oriented it in the mill and then using a number three center drill right here, I centered between the two binder bolt points and then drilled a hole that will be my end termination. This is important because this round hole helps relieve and distribute the stresses as the binder bolt is cinched down. Next thing I do is I set the seat tube insert up in the mill as you see it here. I've used a machinist square so that we can slide this in nice and tight and see that our seat tube insert is perfectly perpendicular to the table. That's going to ensure that our slot hits exactly where we want it to be. The next thing I've done is I've extended my quill feed down with a double slitting saw. I use two slitting saws stacked that gives me the thickness that I'm looking for in my slot. I then advance my slitting saw towards my seat tube binder and measured with a micrometer or a set of dial calipers, whichever you have, to ensure that the saw is equidistant from the top and bottom of the slot. With that done, it's time to slot this setup. So let's get going. We're going to pull back, get the machine turned on, and start cutting this slot. I'm running, what you can see now is going to be on the slow settings, so I'm right around 70 RPMs for this process. We'll get this baby turned on. Going to add a little bit of cutting fluid to my wheel, and we'll start sliding the tube. We're just going to advance in gently. Going to make a small rough edge. Right there, just enough that I can pull back and visually look at the tube one more time to make sure that that spot is dead center on my hole which it appears to be. And now we'll advance and do our cut. You'll see the cutting fluid giving off a little bit of vapor and smoke as we advance. We're using a nice, even, slow feed rate. doesn't take a lot of pressure or a lot of speed for this process. See if we can get you in here so you can see it advancing towards the hole. Getting close to the end. I'm just going to go ahead and peek in here. I'm going to listen to my cutter to hear when it stops engaging material. And then I'll stop and back out. That looks good. We'll back it out. And 
check our slot. Looks to be even, consistent, and dead center on our hole. When we're all done, we'll clean it up with a file a little bit, and that should be our finished piece. Nice and clean, symmetrical, but most importantly, efficient and repeatable if you're doing runs of multiple pieces. Thanks for stopping in. I hope this was helpful.